Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'm going to be presenting Dominic Prunet's course on celestial navigation. Welcome back to episode three of Celestial Navigation, the course developed by Dominique Prunet. You can find uh, more information about Dominique's course at www.marinenavigationbooks.com. There you can find how to order his books, and you can also get some resources you can download, including these slides. All right, well, let's get started. Episode three, we're going to review basic coastal navigation concepts. These concepts are uh, fundamental, and uh, you're assumed to know this uh, when you first start celestial navigation. So let's review those concepts. So there's just a few. The first one is we have to know about the Earth, right? How do we find ourselves upon the Earth? And the first thing you need to understand are latitudes. Latitudes are the parallel lines that are parallel to the equator. The equator is labeled as latitude zero. Then each uh, latitude north of it and south of it uh, is designated as you see on this uh, illustration. Interesting thing about uh, latitudes is that one minute of latitude is equal to one nautical mile. That's actually the definition. Um, it's about 6,000 feet, roughly, uh, here in the States. That's how we call it. And I believe it's about 1,800 and something uh, meters. So when, we want, when we're trying to find distance, we always use that um, latitude scale to find our distance in nautical miles. So that's how we go north and south. We also need to know how to go east and west. So the meridians of longitude east and west are measured from the Greenwich Meridian, which obviously goes through Greenwich, England, actually the observatory, the Greenwich Observatory in Greenwich, England. And as you can see on the globe, they're labeled uh, going west and going east. So if you want to find out where you are, you have to have both your latitude and your longitude, and that gives you a precise location on the Earth. There's a full globe showing both the latitudes and the longitudes. Uh, one thing to notice is the uh, latitudes are always spaced evenly across the globe, both north and south. So that's why our distances are measured off the latitude scale. However, longitude, because we live on a globe, uh, the longitudes get closer and closer together as you go from the equator towards the North Pole. Um, so for example, at the equator, it's the same as latitude. So um, one minute of longitude is uh, one nautical mile at the equator. But as you get uh, go closer up, say um, 60 degrees, um, it's only about 30 uh, nautical miles, sorry, a third of a nautical mile to every every uh, nautical uh, to every minute of longitude. So you definitely don't want to be measuring uh, distances using the longitude scale. You want to use the latitude scale. And this also demonstrates how every position on Earth is just an intersection of the latitude lines and longitude lines. Another concept from coastal navigation is lines of position. This is going to be very important for celestial navigation because uh, our, our purpose here, uh, what we're, our goal, is to determine where we are on the Earth. So we're going to be using celestial lines of position, uh, which are uh, using the same concepts as uh, coastal lines of position. So let, let's just review. So to get your uh, position uh, near the coast, you need some landmarks on your chart, and you uh, measure your bearing uh, from north to each of the um, landmarks, hopefully more than 30 degrees apart from each other. And then you draw a line uh, from that um, landmark out into the waters uh, at the uh, reverse bearing of what you measured with your, with your hand compass. And you do that from two or three uh, landmarks, and where they cross, that is where you are. Sometimes you don't have more than one line of position. You just have a single thing. Uh, I'm sorry, you have multiple uh, landmarks. 
So what you're going to do is something called advancing your line of position. So let's say at uh, 0900 hours, you take a, uh, a bearing on a building and you find out uh, what its back bearing is and you draw the line from uh, that building out uh, into the waters. And then you travel for about 30 minutes or so, you know your speed, you can calculate your distance, and what you do is you take a, another uh, bearing off the, uh, the object that you saw at 0900 hours, and you draw a second line of position. And then what you do is you take your first line of position and move it parallel to itself, the distance that was traveled by the boat. And where that advanced line of position crosses your current line of position is your, your fix, your, where you are at that moment when you took that bearing on that, uh, on that building or that landmark. Okay, that's really all you need to know from uh, coastal navigation. Hopefully that was pretty straightforward for you uh, and just a, a review of things you already know. Uh, next episode, we're going to talk about something else you should already know about, the solar system. Celestial navigation is based on uh, uh, looking at the sun, the moon, the planets, the stars. So you're going to need to know a little bit about how that works. So we will cover that in uh, episode number four. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.